Hello and welcome, this is Donna. Today I'd like to share with you an altered book. It is a 1950s fashion inspired book filled with vintage ephemera, photographs, uh, photocopied photographs, vintage wallpapers, and little bits and pieces of accessories. I was inspired by uh, Maria from Dejour Le Papier and Heather and Pearl, or group Heather from Ruby and Pearl XO. Let's try to get that out. I've set my stage. We have pearls and I made a bag for this journal to go in and I've even put this little smoking jacket on with this gorgeous, gorgeous bracelet. There, you know, if you couldn't afford the real thing, costume jewelry was readily available. So let's get right in here. And just a little tie there. I am going to use something to prop this up here. This is a gift and I know the person is going to journal in it. So I did try to control myself about the amount of pieces of ephemera or altered pages or collages that I did. So there will be a lot of clips to hold on to things. And here we have the uh, front cover and I have a brooch. I have a collection of these, I'll pick them up you know, any, any, when I used to be able to go to sales and um, even antique shops or um, especially a Salvation Army or something like that. There's always these tins with these things in them and I, and I love that. I love this image. And here is a little card for the person. There's a lot of stitching around things. Uh, this beautiful uh, silk ribbon that I've used. I altered this, it was an advertisement, and I altered this. I think it's uh, Dijor, or Dior, sorry, not Dijor. That's a completely different subject, isn't it? Let's try to stick on track. I also did this reinforcement on signatures. There are three signatures. Uh, this was um, suggested by a lot of people, but I really, I really like it. I noticed it on Maria's journals. And for me, having an open spine, let's go back to that, having an open spine, it helps a lot to um, keep it cohesive instead of different colors. So here I just did this ribbon with sari silk. And there is a um, perfume ad from a Sears and Roebuck catalog. And I had these images and I upraised them a little. There's a Chanel perfume right there, Joy. A lot of popular perfumes there. And I copied in a uh, 1950s image. There you go. And that gives you a place to write, more places to write. And I mentioned about these Vogue images from 1950. Here we have these. So these are the cover photos. And I did use a photo paper to copy these out of the book. The book was gifted to me by Pam uh, Musselman, my dear friend who sends me these fabulous things. And it was an early Christmas present. And I'm very grateful for it because I had been looking for this book for a long time and she found it and sent it to me. So I'm, I'm thrilled. There's another one of those images, a lot of floral backgrounds, so wallpapers or um, printable wallpapers. And here is a swatch. And these are sand pool swatches, and they're in French. Just love these. And I used uh, period correct laces. And then here's that uh, uh, brocade that I used for the bag. And I did cover it with a netting that has uh, little fuzzy dots on it. It was very fun. I'm just gonna put these things aside as we go through. So lots of spaces that should have been hooked to the other side there. Another little picture. And this is a uh, page out of a, a fashion book that I have. And it's uh, the tyrant himself, Christian Dior. Dior. Let's try that. Uh, surrounded by models wearing some of his evening dresses designed in April, 1950. 
and uh, Grinchy and Chanel. So there's a little gossip here between, you know, the two of them or about the two of them. And there's the back side of that uh, page. And here are some of the famous people in 1950. It's about hairdress, um, headdresses and hairstyles. And I put another ad on the back of that, little extra page. Some fabulous Vogue accessories. More wallpaper, great image. And the center of all the signatures have a larger photocopied page of a Vogue cover. She looks like she's shopping in Paris. I absolutely love it. New menus, new time techniques. Yes, it is. Oh, Paris, yep. Paris copies ready to wear. And this is a copy of a uh, French magazine, the fashions then. And this is a buckle uh, with a silk ribbon that uh, has a nice edging, brocade edging. Another place to write. And this just says it all, doesn't it? <laughs> 1950s fashion was very experimental. It was really inspirational. It, yeah. I, I had to put that in there, I love it. Um, more wallpaper. And there is um, another, there's a lace sample on that swatch. There's the other side of that. And that's the other side of that magazine um, with Dior. And this is the uh, sack dress and it's a Chanel dress. And you'll still see uh, similar dresses today. I mean, it really, it's truly amazing, um, the styles and the imagination of the designers then. Uh, this is another swatch. It's a piece of uh, velvet ribbon, pink velvet ribbon. As you flip this over, here is a swatch card. I'm gonna keep pulling this down because I'm worried about you seeing. Um, and so this would have been suiting. It's really neat. And these uh, labels also are in that Sam Pool Digital. Is that oh and there was something on the back of that I didn't think there was but there is and there we go okay so I'm old enough to remember torpedo bras uh, yeah just not a look we're looking for today thank you very much I could go on and on on a soapbox about advertising and the advertising industry but I'm sure you're all smart enough to figure that out <laughs> Uh, here we go. There's a belly band. I love these images. And I, I, you know, I just left those blank just so you could write on them. That beautiful pink wallpaper and it's uh, embossed. Love the stamp. You have to have proper uh, foundations to wear these beautiful garments. Here's that nylon I was telling you, or netting I was telling you about, and some of this ribbon. I'm pretty sure this was sourced, and so was the ribbon, and a lot of things in here were sourced from this wonderful um, day I had with Jackie from Dinosaur Dry Goods. She is cleaning out a house, and it's a by appointment, and I was just overwhelmed with the amount of fabric and laces, and I filled several boxes, and I'm still going through things, and I'm just so, so grateful for her to, she always reaches out to me when she has some really neat things, and it just fits perfect in this journal because a lot of the stuff that I did get was uh, period correct. Another place is to journal. This is from Maria, her idea about uh, how to get the most out of uh, a magazine uh, photo or ad. And I just love it. You just, she does this in these stunning, stunning Chanel and other fashion journals that she makes and so clever. And I have used this. Uh, thank you for your inspiration, Maria. And so this is a um, a page out of a magazine, and it's about these crocheted hats. Set a cap to catch a bow. And so that you know that would have been cut off had I not. Are you seeing all this? Oh, there. Yeah, that would have been cut off had I not done that. Here we have a 
record sleeve, an album. Um, and they were pretty big. So I can't remember, re it's, it's an RCA uh, Victrola. So it was a, <laughs> that's funny, I have a stack of them. They're Victrola sleeves for a Victrola uh, vinyl. Uh, this is a lovely ad and more vintage wallpaper. I will link below where I got these labels. So it's, it's referred to as new old stocks. So say there was um, a department store somewhere that had buttons and labels and trims and things, and it still had all the stock and old stock in it, and the person bought all the old stock, and now they're reselling it. So that's, um, I think I got that someplace in New York. I will try to link that down below. And there's the back of that. It was uh, Bluebird Records. There's some dancing and... This is pretty funny. Life is fun in this house. Well, okay. Designed for happiness with glass. So let's pull it out all the way. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. This is definitely an example of life that your whole house is filled with glass. So easy to clean. <laughs> okay. Um, time to put your best foot forward. Love that. Got to have your accessories and your foundations. You see? Um, uh, a card I made with this vintage wallpaper. I'm sure I've seen that in someone's kitchen before. Love it. I love the cut of this suit. Just the details and uh, the... Just... Can you imagine having a suit fitted to you and altered to you, tapered like that? I'm just blown away with uh, the beautiful stitching and the details. And here we have this beauty. She's out and about with her pearls. She has her hat and a veil. And on this side, those hoop skirts. Probably embroidered and painted. Very funny, it looks like a dancer. And so I added Instead of a swatch, clothing swatch, I did a veil. And this would have been the back. And it would have been the front over the hat or over your face. More of the Vogue ads. This is another swatch sample. These wonderful brocades that have two sides. I'm really, I have a lot of this and I'm hoping to make a smoking jacket with it. Something like that, you know, a big jacket with the big sleeves. A buckle. And here's some more lovely suits, glasses. Look at those hats. This is some of that wonderful trim that I purchased from Jackie. It's all um, embroidered on original hair net. Still in the package, 1950s. Here goes some more ads and the lap of luxury. There you go. Wow. That's gorgeous. Okay. Let me go over here and then uh, runway, what runways used to look like. I'm pretty sure that's Dior. I love this ad. I just wanted to put that little uh, velvet flower there. And this was so fun. I found this in a magazine, cut that out and put that label as if that is the maker of, you know, that lingerie. Just extra little things here. Here's a fun one. And that flips out. And there we go with foundations again. Mm-hmm, yep. Fasteners make corsets go on and off in a jiffy. And I put a little clips for the garter belt there. And then there's another ad with, uh, she's going to uh, do it herself, electronic strip, and she's got her screwdriver in her hand. And there is a beautiful um, suit, uh, trademark uh, braid trim, suit from Chanel outside of a Chanel store in the bag. And then this is a Vanity Fair straps for a bra. The cellophane that, that it was on, it was way too brittle to keep, so I didn't keep it. And I loved putting this uh, nylon, that nylon, over this image. Love this dress and this image. Some burnt out velvet there and some velvet over here. 
This is a copy of a book that I, um, I have a sewing book, a reference book from the 50s. It's a really great reference book if you're making vintage clothing. So I just copied that. An embroidery sample. This pops out here. There's uh, the wedding handbook from 1956. That pops out there. Um, there's another Vogue image. More places to write on Vogue. Another thing on foundation, that beautiful uh, embossed wallpaper. And Q-Tex used to make the makeup. So I think that's pretty cool. That's a great ad. There's another one of those pieces. Uh, copies from the French fashion magazine. The last center that we have. Oh, let's get all of these things out here. And there's the center of that Vogue, or the center of the signature, which is that beautiful Vogue image. I love this napkin. It's hard um, to find a quality vintage ephemera with women of color. Uh, it's very annoying. Um, you can find it in more French ephemera than, um, than in the US. But I wanted to put that in there. It's such a fun piece. And here we have, she's very bohemian, the modern way. Now this outfit could be worn today. <laughs> I love it. With the blue hair and the earrings, it definitely. You know, the, uh, the print on the leggings. It's so funny. So it's this little story about this woman who's this world traveler and she's very bohemian. And uh, nylons. Did, a lot of you probably know that uh, DuPont was the uh, maker of an islands first. And uh, yeah, there's this whole thing about um, one of the world fairs and they made them so well that the uh, models who were wearing them just kept washing them out and they never got holes in them. Well, they made them too well and they went back and uh, they remade them with less structure so that you had to buy them again because otherwise you could buy them once and, and have them for who knows how long, as well as you took care of them, I guess. So that's a pretty funny ad. Cut out that image with the background of the purses. And here's another little card with some beautiful trim work. Kind of reminded me of what would be maybe trim on maybe the, her bag or that suit. Fabulous Vogue picture. And here we have some netting. I just thought she has one that has just a little tiny flower detail. And I thought that went over there nicely. Another one of these images. Here's a wonderful picture in London. And this is a couple pages of a knitting magazine. Hats. And that is um, in English. Here is a little envelope. These um, doilies I also uh, purchased from Jackie. They're so detailed. They're gorgeous, very fragile. And there's another sample with our velvets. And now this leads us to our last page. And here we have a brooch that reminds me of a little bit of the brooch there. And I loved the uh, Barney's New York label, as if that dress was from Barney's. And there's her beautiful glove. And I am so thrilled that you took the time to watch this, because I'm sure it was long. And um, hopefully that inspires you to look at old fashioned or make a journal like this yourself. You have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye.